Hello again here with Fix It Pros. We got another video. We're going to do a screen repair for a iPhone 8 Plus in white. So we're going to, it seems like everything's working here the home button, side buttons. So far, what well, we can test seems to be working. So we're going to get right into it. First, you're going to take your Pentalobe screwdriver. Take these bolts out. Okay, got one. And two. Great, put those in there. Now what we want to do is heat this up a little bit, but you want to be careful. Don't put too much heat here because that's where the connector goes. On the left side, uh, the home button, you can uh, you can heat up the solder balls and then you can mess up the fingerprint or the home button feature. So just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Okay, take your Isesmo tool and just gently get in there. I'll jam it all the way in and little by little. <laughs> start to break up the adhesive. And this screen is looks good, so you don't want to damage it taking it out. Because those could be refurbished later. That's another thing that we do here at Fix-It Pros. So if you ever have any broken, you know, good LCD, good touch, just the glass is cracked, originals, we can actually refurbish them here for you. Some places send them out to China. You know, that takes a long time to get back. We can do it here in the United States, Florida. Usually have them shipped out by the next day. So we get them in, just depends how many send us. We can have that ready for you. One to two days shipped out. Instead of all the way from China, it could take a month or so. By the time they get it, because you don't want to ship it to China, it's be very expensive. Especially if you don't ship out like DHL or something like that. Okay, so you want to be very careful with the A plus because uh, the connectors are right here. So you kind of want to open this up like a like a book, but at the same time, you have to loosen the adhesive up here because this has to come out. Okay, so you want to pull down here. You see that, and then open up like a book. So you see all this. This has never been repaired before. You see all this. All this double tape okay so screen looks pretty good still I'm gonna shut it down okay wait till it shuts down now on the iPhone uh, 7 7 plus you had to use the Y tool uh, but on the regular on the excuse me on the 8 plus they changed these Back to the regular, regular Phillips screwdriver. So you definitely don't want to keep the, you definitely want to keep these in order because the bolts are different. They actually changed the bolts. Used to be the long one used to be here. So you don't want to screw that up. No pun intended. Get it screwed. Screwed. Anyways. So here we go. Okay, get these done. Take that plate off. Okay. And there's like a lot of, uh, you're going to see a lot of different uh, connectors here, but this one is the battery. Okay. So the, not the first, the second one. Just be careful lifting those up. There's a lot of little chip sets around here. You can rip one of those off and then have a malfunction in your phone. So be very careful. A lot of guys just, you know, tear that up. 
and you have a problem. So with here, on the 7 plus, you have to take these two off, but on the 8 plus, it's just these two, this little plate here. So save yourself a little less, a little less work. Okay, pop those out. Okay. A little shield, goes that way. This one's a little tricky, so you gotta just get underneath here gently. Same thing with these. I like using the plastic pry tools so there's no shock. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got it off. Awesome. So, what I like to do the first step, save myself a lot of time and headache, is to take the home button off first. Okay? Take the home button off first. So I could test my my new screen before assembling the whole phone. Turns out that the home button flex cable on on the you know on the uh, new screen is damaged because that could happen. Faulty product it doesn't happen all the time, but it's always but or the screen could just be bad. That that's happened before. After a couple minutes, the screen's on and just fry fries out. So first step is heat up a little bit. Again, not too much. Don't let anything happen. So what I like to do here, if you can see this, I like to get underneath here, if you can. Okay. You gotta be very careful. I need a little more heat. Not too much heat. Because remember, there's some chipsets here, and you can loosen the, the solder balls. Okay, just a little bit. Gotta be very careful. It's kind of like a slide and you're pulling it up a little bit okay, just be very careful loosen that button there okay there you go okay it's extremely careful with this button okay so now we got that out now we're going to grab our quadruple eight plus lcd Okay, that we also sell here as well, wholesale. And you want to slide that home button in. So again, you're gonna, let me just kind of show you that in case you've never done it before. Instead of like going here, this has to go through the hoop, through the hole there, okay? And, and sometimes be careful because there's like, there's a seal here. So that little rubber seal kind of comes loose and and as you're putting the home button in, it kind of makes the home button not sit flush to the glass. So you want to put this, drop this in here. Another little trick that I've learned is put this test mode behind this so you can move it a little bit in case you have to. Sometimes this little button doesn't like to stick on there. If you can kind of have this so you can adjust it, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now then you can just kind of let it sit. Sometimes this cable isn't exactly right, and then you sit this in here, and then it doesn't sit, and you're wondering why, so you don't damage it. Okay. So you see here, it's nice and flush. Okay. There's no tape or seal. Okay. Now, we're going to connect it. Make sure it snaps in nice and flush. Okay. Then connect the power and turn it on again this is the C to make sure that the home button 
flex cable is working. So while that's coming on, I like to now start taking off these screws, back plate screws. Okay. So this seems to be working. I'm going to go into the phone, make sure the keyboard works. Okay. Everything seems to be working fine. Make sure that the home button, yeah, that seems to be working fine. See? Perfect. Okay. It's looking good. Now we can shut it down. Well, I'll leave it on for now. Just until I take all this stuff off. You never know, after a couple minutes, the screen could go bad. And then they'll know. It's another customer's phone ringing. So we're gonna take all these screws off here. You know, again, remember, leave these in order. Keep all these in order so we don't mess them up. And remember, you're gonna take a little bit of heat here as well. So again, you just have to uh, be careful, heat this up. You just have to get underneath here. Because there is a There's some solder, there's some pins there that can be broken if you're not careful. I'm gonna show you in a second. Oh. Okay, so right back there that could be split if you're not careful. So you, the best is to try to get underneath this tape. Uh. Okay, so once you get that camera off, then you wanna take off this back plate. You wanna be careful, there's a little adhesive here. You're gonna pop that off, okay? That comes off. Now, um, put this off to the side, and we're gonna look at our phone here that we already shut off already. You want to disconnect that middle one, which is the battery. Sometimes use your nail. Use the prying tool. Okay, put your phone off to the side. And you want to take off all these little stickers that came along with the product. Careful not to tear. Okay. Ready. Get all the tape off, everything's working. That's why I like to test it beforehand, because you know, once you take all these stickers off, a lot of times the companies don't want a warranty product so I like to test it beforehand okay so you want to make sure that this is kind of lined up okay this piece here okay now you can start putting all your screws back in
Again, this is using the Y tool. Put in the back plates, just be careful with this. Try to buy the gold tip Y tool. Because the other ones, the regular ones, non gold tip, sort of uh, strip easy, and then they strip the bolts. So put your shield back on. Again, everything was in order. Make sure you're on a flat surface when you're putting these screws in, especially for this middle button. So everything is nice and flat. This one is a regular Phillips. Okay. I always like to check the camera inside because sometimes the, the lens, sometimes there's some glue and it gets all foggy. And you won't notice that until later. I usually like to clean the glass here at the lens, but it looks pretty good. So now we're going to reline this up again. Put these little gold, where the gold pins are. And these, the proximity sensor, make sure that fits in pretty flush. Okay, so we just inserted the camera. Make sure that that proximity sensor is nice and flush. You know, already clean the camera. Put in your speaker with the pins down. See the pins? Match the pins. Okay. Flip over the camera. Make sure everything's nice and snug. I'm gonna double check this real quick. This cable is supposed to be kind of flipped this way. Okay, there we go. Make sure that this is nice and snug. Camera over. There we go. I think fits pretty good. And again, you kept all your bolts in order. It's a lot easier to not think too much and just put the bolts in because if you mix these up, they're all different sizes. You can pierce the glass, crack the glass, put a swirl on the other side of the paint. And that doesn't look nice. And as soon as you feel the screw stop turning, you stop. Because again, too much pressure will crack the glass. Okay, so there you have it, all the pieces are on. Now we're gonna, again, remember your battery's disconnected. We're gonna connect our, uh, I like to do a little inspection too. Make sure, you know, all this like extra tape's kind of out. Some of that tape you can leave in there. Let's make sure there's no glass. Sometimes you get this extra tape. Kind of came off. Make sure there's no loose bolts in there either, or glass, and the frame looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna connect this. I like to connect this piece first. Make sure it's nice and flat. Connect your home button cable. Next, make sure that it's clicked in. Click your LCD cable in. Make sure that's nice and flat. Okay. Then you can click your power in. Now we're gonna put these bolts back in. Put your shield in. Kind of like to keep the bolts organized. So when you're putting it back together, you don't have to think about 
which bolt goes where. Okay, almost done. Oh, these are the regular. These are the regular. Don't forget that. Okay. Putting on the last bolts in. Tighten that a little bit. Okay, I like to, before I close it all in, I like to make sure it's gonna come on. Okay, perfect. And again, there's like these little teeth, put the teeth in there, try to keep it as flat as possible. Keep the pressure up. Looks good. Bam. Okay, it's looking good. Everything looks fine. Light's a little dim because you gotta get into the main screen, turn it up. But everything is working. Put in your last uh, pentalope bolts in, and you are complete. And that's pretty much it, folks. Thank you for watching the video. Please click like. Uh, please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and have a great day. Thank you so much.